Site speed is a ranking factor for both humans and for Google. Now, for Google, it's not often that they confirm ranking factors. It's very much a mystery, their ranking factor is, that, 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 that we learn through observation and testing. But site speed, they came out and categorically said, this is a ranking factor. Now, on top of that, next year, they're going to introduce an additional ranking factor called Core Web Vitals, which is built on site speed. So, in order for you to be successful from an SEO standpoint, your site must be fast. If you're using a tool like webpagetest.org, you've got to be hitting load times of under five seconds. And if you're using Google PageSpeed, that gives a mobile score and a desktop. Actually, you can use a website called www.batchspeed.com and that will crawl your site and give you uh, page speed scores for all the pages across your site, both in mobile and desktop. Mobile must be 60, desktop must be 90 or, or above. Um, if you're not hitting those metrics right now, your site essentially has a weight around its neck in terms of its organic search and SEO performance right it, it, it despite having good content despite having good links if your site's slow you're giving yourself an uphill battle that's from the seo standpoint site speed is also a ranking factor for humans it's a ranking factor because it directly affects a customer experience it directly affects conversion rate if you're an e-commerce site it directly aff uh, affects average order value it touches every point of the customer experience um, you know, when you go to a supermarket and you've got everything in your car and you want to check out and there's a line, that's frustrating, right? You've got to wait. What you really want to do is take your car of products and just go straight to the checkout pay and get out of there, right? You don't want to be in a queue. You don't want to wait around. So it's amazing how many sites create that experience digitally through, slow, through a slow site. Um, on, on, on top of that, site speed is important from a, a mobile perspective um if anyone's listening looking at their analytics over the past five years you would have seen the amount of mobile and tablet traffic come into your site growing regardless of niche um if you're not serving these people with a fast site again you're creating that bad experience and it puts people off so site speed is ah, of course it also backs into if you're running paid campaigns adwords facebook twitter ads anything like that that also affects all of your quality scores it's affecting your conversion rates there you're ending up paying more in your ad campaigns for lower for, for less results right than you would if your site was fast so site speed touches your business on so many different levels so many levels and, and I equate it to that in a supermarket. Would would every time someone wanted to check out, would you put a five person line in front of them? No, you, you'd want them to just check out and get out of there as quick as it can. So site speed's important. Now, how do we fix it? If you're running WordPress WooCommerce, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, I have a tutorial that gives you uh, a much more detailed step-by-step -step how to increase your website speed. If you go matthewwoodward.co.uk, the SEO section on the right-hand side, there's an article there, increase website speed. You can follow those steps. That will allow you to fix it if you're on WordPress or Magento or something like that. Some people, however, are gonna be on Shopify. Um, that needs its that's its own can of worms right um there's so many different implementations on shopify uh, but one of the common problems we find is people loading lots of fonts uh, unnecessarily but uh, you can check go and plug your site into webpagetest.org if it takes more than five seconds to load you got problems really you want it to load in three seconds also go on batchspeed.com put your site through there if you're seeing mobile scores under 60 you've got problems. If you've seen desktop scores under 90, you've got problems. They must be addressed. And the moment you address them, the moment you deploy a fast site, you will immediately see the human benefits in terms of average time on page, bounce rate, pages per visit, average order value, conversion rate. You see the benefit immediately from humans. With Google, we nearly always see a result about six weeks after implementing the, the, the changes. So 
it's super simple in many cases. If you're on WordPress or WooCommerce, it's just configuring a couple of plugins. It costs you like 80 bucks. Um, and if, 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 if you're not, uh, there's various services. There's a service called Nitro Pack, absolutely excellent. That works with Magento, any e-commerce people running on Magento. Uh, they're going to have Shopify compatibility soon, but um, that's in about five minutes you can fix your site speed with nitro pack even if you're not a developer and you don't know anything um and that's going to give you your google page speed scores all 100 across the board mobile desktop your site speed it, it's just a connector it takes a few a few moments to set up really so that's site speed right it's a foundation part of seo it's often overlooked we all know that we need to do it but i don't think we all quite grasp how important it is how many different areas of a business it touches. 